Hello everyone, this is Keith here, snuggled all tight in my blanket. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, whichever fits you best. Uh, I'm just gonna, before I get the video started, I just want to give a shout out to my two Patreons, Kitty and Marcus. Thank you two very much for supporting me on Patreon. Uh, even though it's, you know, it's only a dollar, it really does help. It really does encourage me to keep making these videos. Uh, so Happy Holidays everyone, Merry Christmas, and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, so this is Keith here. Uh, today's video is going to be on something a little different. So for those of you who don't know, I actually have my own server uh, that I host in my house. Uh, I built it myself. I took some parts uh, that I had lying around, mainly in old Intel i3550. Uh, and I bought a micro motherboard online, and I also bought a, uh, a case that was recommended to me by EG, which is a cool uh, programmer guy that I know. Uh, check his video out here. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy. He makes some pretty interesting videos on... Uh, lots of stuff. I know right now he's focusing on like virtualization software. Uh, he's pretty interesting videos. Go ahead and check him out. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I built my server and uh, I put Ubuntu server on it. I'm mainly a Debian guy, but EG kind of convinced me to try out Ubuntu server and I definitely uh, was happy I did that because I really like Ubuntu server actually. Uh, but one thing about this server is that, you know, it runs my website and on my website I also have a server section and where you can see that I run a ton of game servers um, and one thing about a server is it needs to run all the time you cannot have any like outage you know you need that 99 percent uptime so how do you deal with things like power outages well to deal with something like a power outage you would get a UPS which is what you're seeing here uh, it's actually a thing kind of in the center there between my uh, modem and router or my modem and server excuse me and uh, it's basically the way I think of it is a big giant battery Whenever a power outage happens, the uh, battery in the UPS switches on and provides power to any uh, electronics that are plugged into it. I uh, see. So yeah, you know, this can help me guarantee guarantee 99% uh, uptime with my server, and it's just really cool and dandy. And I've been using it for a while now, and it seems like a pretty good UPS. But one interesting thing about this is when I was digging through the box, you know, look, just reading the manual and other things like that, and just getting some information about the UPS, you know, how to properly take care of it to extend its lifetime etc I noticed it came with this USB cable for connecting it to the from the UPS to the actual machine uh, and I was really interested in what the purpose of this served and when I read the manual for the UPS the UPS just described uh, the cable as b allowing your UPS to communicate with your computer and I'm like okay the manual didn't really give too much description of how you would you know what software it used to do this so I did some googling and I found out that CyberPower themselves actually provide software for this um, so yeah their software is called power panel uh, this is the web page I found for it here so this power panel business which is kind of the higher end uh, version of it which offers things like a web UI and tons of other configuration options uh, and then we have Power Panel Personal. Power Panel Personal is going to be the one I'm going to be focusing on because it fits my application better. Uh, there's also Kiosk Commander, which is for kiosks and uh, computers similar to that nature. Uh, so anyway, we're going to focus on Power Panel Personal here. And the reason why I'm making a video on this is because this is on Linux. Um, the there's it, it has it for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And the Linux version it actually runs in the command line, which I thought was really awesome. I love command line utilities. Uh, and I just really love clean, small, cool, utility, cool, cool utilities like this. Uh, so yeah, not only does it actually run the command line, but it's actually a daemon process. So I'm going to go in a little bit more about how this software works. There is actually an Arch Wiki page on this software, although it is very bare. Um, but luckily, uh, CyberPower themselves has actually provided a user manual for it, as well as an installation guide. Uh, if you see here, uh, under the page here for... Power Panel for Linux under Resources. This is actually how you download the software. You have it for both 64-bit and 32-bit DEB and RPMs. And for those of you who don't run distributions that support DEB or RPMs, we have tar.gz. And if you run Arch, this software is available in the AUR. So anyway, yeah, you just go ahead and download whichever version suits you, and then you run the uh, installation process for the package. So for me, I put it on my Ubuntu server, and after I installed it on my Ubuntu server, my UPS beat, then I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. And that's because the uh, end of the installation of the deb um, package, it actually starts the daemon, the actual daemon for uh, 
establishing the connection between the UPS and the server. So all you got to do is just you take the USB cable included with your UPS if your UPS uh, is capable of this feature and it just plugs right into the UPS and then the other plugs into your computer USB port uh, and then you run the package install installation and it starts up the uh, service and then there you go and if you know and like I said it has a man they actually provide a manual here which gives you some surprisingly uh, in-depth information like it actually gives you uh, specific use cases that you would need like for instance it tells you how to configure uh, creating actions for low battery and etc pretty interesting stuff here and yeah I just thought that this is very cool software so what exactly does this software do well let me just explain it by their definition because I think they do a pretty good job of explaining it power panel for Linux is a simple command line Linux daemon to control a UPS system attached to a Linux based computer it provides all the functionality of power panel personal edition software including automatic shutdown UPS monitoring alert notifications and more Power Panel for Linux is compatible with all versions of Linux. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So what exactly does it do still? Well, like I said, it allows you, like it said here, it includes automatic shutdown. So if you look here, it actually has, uh, you can do, you can actually set up, it comes with like its own tools, its own switches to set up uh, uh, a situation where if the UPS kicks into battery mode, you can execute a shell script which can do a variety of things to maybe extend the battery life like maybe kill certain processes that aren't essential to the system and other things like that um, and you can also do okay well if the battery life reaches a certain point just shut the computer down safely now or shut down certain processes once again to increase um, battery life and you can also do things like actually pass commands to it which will initiate the UPS to do a self check uh, you know you can also do it for it actually logs events too which is really interesting um, when you run the software in a daemon it actually uh, certain events like the battery kicking on and off will actually be logged to of slash var log uh, which is really cool I thought that was really awesome so you know that way if something kicks the UPS kicks on I can see how many times it turned on and etc and you also have uh, alert notifications that actually supports sending notifications via email Windows Messenger or XMPP I thought that was really interesting too, because you can set it to where, okay, when the battery life, when the battery kicks on, you know, when your electricity cuts off, your battery kicks on, send an email, and when your battery gets to a certain point, send an email. Like you can do all these cool, interesting things uh, with it. So yeah, anyway, so that's just a brief overview of the of the software. Now I'm actually gonna uh, SSH into my server here and show you guys it being used. I'm gonna go ahead and change that screen and then bring it back here this is actually inside my server let's see how the name of this uh, the software it installs is actually uh, PowerStat. D is the daemon itself that actually runs in the system D when you do uh, system CTL start and enable etc so yeah, this is the PowerStat command you actually need to use sudo for it to actually work but you would do PowerStat status for example and then you know enter in the password for sudo which I didn't do properly and then it'll actually give you the information about your UPS including its model number, its rating voltage, uh, its capacity, the run, remaining run, the estimated remaining runtime and yeah it's just really awesome uh, piece of software for doing basic stuff like that and even more complex things if we just run the software without any arguments um, it'll tell you sort of all the things you can do uh, you actually have a uh, config configuration file as well which kind of has all the default uh, situations here if we go to etc and then we do powerstatd.conf this is where we actually have the configuration file um, and of course after you change any of this you must um, uh, restart the daemon process which is pretty easy it actually tells you how to do that in the uh, file in the uh, in this file itself See, that's pretty cool. You have a lot of options here that you can kind of toy around with. You know, you can set um, enable alarm. Do you want in the UPS to alarm when you know uh, the battery kicks on or the battery is low, etc.? And you can actually set okay. Well, when the low, when the battery is low, set the threshold for what the low battery is, um, which I believe is right here. So 35% is the th when the battery reaches 35%, it would execute the uh, PowerStat low bat shell script. And uh, you can actually see the shell script in ETC. 
here and then you know this is the commands it sends after uh, it reaches that state so you can do things like set up your email here have it mail to your email or stop processes really you can modify the script to do whatever you want um, and of course there's another shell script for uh, when the power fails you know and then you also have the, um, the actual email script which is the actual email itself uh, that you want to send you see here you have uh, SMTP server that you can change here and you can also change the subject the from the to all that uh, so it's yeah it's pretty interesting and like I said it actually logs to uh, slash var log and then we have power stat d log and it will lock and it actually logs things in here including uh, you know when the UPS turns off etc uh, so very interesting things you can do here and like I said from the command line you can run um, run dash test for instance will will actually verify that you it will try the UPS to see if it actually works you know verify that everything's working fine uh, you can mute it you know set up temporarily mute alarm when alarm is enabled status so you have a lot of variety of actions you can do here and yeah this is just sort of me giving you a brief overview of some of the basic functionality of this software I recommend if you have a you know a, a cyber power UPS that is capable of this functionality you know it has a USB port in it it says that it's compatible with the software. I definitely recommend downloading it and giving it a shot and, uh, you know, setting it up for you. It could be, it's really interesting software and uh, really, it's really cool that uh, CyberPower went out of their way to support Linux. Uh, this could be a great application I could see in a commercial environment or even a home environment where you, you know, you, you just want to be able to set up certain fail cases, you know, in case like the UPS power goes out, etc. Um, just really interesting stuff here. And yeah, thank you for watching, guys. This has been Keith here short demonstrating uh, CyberPower Power Panel for Linux, the personal edition. Um, if you guys, let me know if you guys really enjoy this video. Um, depending on how popular this video is, I may take a look at the business edition. Uh, both editions are free, actually. Both the business and personal edition are free. Uh, the business edition includes additional things such as being able to. Uh, can change configurations and stuff from a web UI, which is really interesting, but it kind of seemed like overkill for me. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been Keith, signing off.